Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Amelia, I work in politics, but today we are going to be talking about what the f*** is up with Texas's governor, Greg Abbott. Where do we even start with Greg Abbott? He is a man of many titles, like former attorney general of Texas, current governor of Texas, racist, homophobe, misogynist, transphobe, xenophobe, um, and somebody who consistently engages in what Joe Biden calls Neanderthal thinking. Greg Abbott has made headlines over the past few weeks for letting 4 million Texans go without power in a deadly winter storm and removing all COVID guidelines from the state. So really, really cool, totally not deadly stuff. Many people are rightfully enraged with Greg Abbott's actions right now, but I just wanted to come on here to remind all of you, Greg Abbott has been a hateful piece of sh forever. So to try to figure out why he is the way that he is, I decided to do a little bit of research. In this video, I'm absolutely not going to be able to touch on every hateful, horrific thing this man has done because there are simply way too many, but I'm going to try to give you a little, a brief overview. Greg Abbott was born and raised in Texas. He went on to become a lawyer and his career really took off when George W. Bush appointed him to the Texas Supreme Court in the mid nineties. So, you know, we're already starting off bad. I was raised in the desert, but tides kind of, it's easy to see a tide turn. Did I say those words? Well, Attorney General, he did some pretty classic conservative things. He sued Obama more times than literally anyone else over things like trying to give people health care and give gay people equality. And then he also spent way too much energy trying to ban sex toys from Texas. Like, dude, at that point, just say you're jealous of your wife's vibrator and move on. In 2014, he argued that Texas should be allowed to ban gay marriage because LGBTQ plus individuals cannot procreate. In 2017, he signed a bill into law that would require the cremation or burial of an aborted fetus. Thankfully, this was blocked by a federal judge because holy shit. But then he signed a bill into law that actually increases premiums for anyone having a non-emergency abortion. And in addition to hating women, he also hates letting people vote. Who is surprised? In 2019, he was a part of a scandal trying to purge 100,000 voters from the Texas voter rolls. And in 2020, he tried to close ballot drop-off locations so that Texans would have to drive hours to get their early vote counted. Thankfully, both of these were blocked by federal judges, but goes to show why Texas has one of the worst voter suppression records in the country. This all brings us to 2021. The week of February 13th, a winter storm hit Texas that caused millions to lose power and water. In the midst of this serious crisis, Greg Abbott went on Fox News to talk about how the entire thing was because of the Green New Deal. Texas is blessed with multiple sources of energy, such as uh, natural gas and oil uh, and nuclear, as, as well as uh, solar and wind. Uh, but you saw from what Trace said, uh, and that is our wind and our solar got shut down, and, and they were uh, collectively more than 10 percent of our power grid. And that thrust Texas into a situation where it was lacking power in a statewide basis. If the Biden administration is going to try to eradicate uh, fossil fuels in the United States, Every state is going to constantly have challenges like what America has seen take place in Texas right now. Can I please remind everyone that as much as I want it to be, the Green New Deal is not law anywhere. It is literally not imposed in law, in writing, in any state in the country. Right now, the Green New Deal is just a collection of really, really good ideas that would stop us from all literally killing ourselves, but unfortunately, it is actually not law anywhere. But Greg Abbott decided in the midst of this crisis to go on Fox News, talk shit about the Green New Deal, and try to rile up Republicans. But when he went on a local news show, he actually told the truth, which was that the problem was because of natural gas, not wind or solar. The companies that generate the power, uh, their operations have frozen up uh, or have tripwired uh, and are non-operational. Uh, that is the lead reason uh, why there is a shortage of power uh, for the people who are lacking power right now. There is an additional reason uh, causing a lack of natural gas uh, arriving to power generation centers across the state. And that's because the ability uh, to both manufacture and to ship and transport uh, natural gas has been frozen also. It's frozen in the pipeline. It's, it's frozen at the rig. Uh, it's frozen in the transmission line. This is the kind of utter bull that you get with Greg Abbott. He and his fellow Republicans completely deregulated power in Texas. And with no government oversight and no kind of checks to uphold, the private companies did not do their due diligence to ensure that energy grids were prepared. More than four and a half million people were without power and water for days. 82 people died. This is a very, very serious crisis in Texas, and all Greg Abbott cared to do was go on Fox News and yell about the Green New Deal. Then on March 2nd, Greg Abbott decided to lift literally all COVID precautions in the state of Texas. 
no mask mandates, no mask guidelines. Businesses could operate at 100% capacity indoors, completely abandoning Texans in a state of another crisis. And then in the most classic fashion, he the next day decided to go on Twitter and start scapegoating immigrants and blaming COVID spread on undocumented citizens in the state. He is the most boring, hateful white dude who does nothing but spread dangerous conspiracy theories and then weirdly fangirl over the UFC. Somehow this man has not had a difficult election in his entire life. I wanted to raise awareness for how much of a piece of Greg Abbott is so we can all band together and be prepared to not only stop him for re-election in 2022, but make sure this man has absolutely no chance at a presidential run in 2024. Texas, again, suffers from some of the worst voter suppression in the country. Right now, there are groups on the ground who are doing work to upend that voter suppression. I'll link resources in the description below for how you can get involved, but also nothing is really stopping you from tweeting mean stuff at him all day or just whatever you can to kind of bring awareness to what a horrible person this man is. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave me a comment down below letting me know what you think about Greg Abbott and who you think should run for governor in 2022 to replace him. Now is the time to start thinking about these issues even though I know they feel far away. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss what the f else is up next week. Governor Abbott woke up today and thought what am I gonna do? Little by little every day my Texans are flipping blue. But they can't bring the thunder if they're six feet under And I've got to protect the right So since the ice didn't wipe them out Well, maybe COVID's still mine Dear Texas, wear a mask and beware Because Greg Abbott's trying to kill you All we ask is take care Because Greg Abbott's trying to kill you Greg Abbott's trying to kill you